This was a Merry Christmas from Vladimir Putin. The Russian military says it launched a long-range, nuclear-capable hypersonic missile, which hit its target 4,000 miles away near the border with Kazakhstan. Now, hypersonic missiles can travel 20 times the speed of sound, making them a challenge for any U.S. missile defense systems. And as you mentioned, Russian President Vladimir Putin witnessed the launch firsthand. He called the test an excellent New Year's gift to his nation. The new avant-garde missile system is invincible for today's and future air defense systems and missile defense systems. This is a big success and a big victory. Putin says he will deploy this type of missile next year, but he wasn't the only one watching today. U.S. officials tell me American spy satellites orbiting the Earth also witnessed the launch. Dana? And what are they saying at the Pentagon? Dana, they say that the U.S. military does very similar tests. About four times a year, the U.S. Air Force launches intercontinental ballistic missiles from Vandenberg Air Force Base in, Cal in California, which travel 4,000 miles into the South Pacific. Now, the officials here say uh, these hypersonics are nothing to worry about because the U.S. military has its own hypersonics it's working on, and it tests them, and they are coming. Uh, the also, the same officials say, why would the Russians or anybody like the Chinese launch a missile at the United States when the U.S. military has its own nuclear arsenal, like these Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines, which carry 24 Trident D-5 ballistic missile? Each of the, these missiles have multiple independent warheads. A number of these boomers are underwater at all times, capable of launching nuclear missiles at hundreds of cities around the world. The U.S. also has 400 nuclear missiles in the ground in Montana, North Dakota, Wyoming, and nuclear bombers as well. But a recent report by military experts and former senior military officers warned the U.S. is falling behind. Quote, with respect to hypersonics in particular, the United States finds itself trailing China and perhaps Russia as well. All this raises the possibility that America may find itself at a technological disadvantage in future conflicts. And one of those reports authors recently spoke to Fox News. We are seeking to be, remain the preeminent military power in the world, which means we have to do five things at once. We need to be able to continue the fight against terrorism like ISIS. We have to deter Iran and North Korea. We have to continue to counter Russian aggression. And of course, we have to deal with the pacing threat that we face in a resurgent China. I'll have more on Russia's missile launch tonight on Special Report with Brett Baer.